Hello again. You may have noticed that there are two different ways to communicate with your professional team. You might use one or both methods depending upon your need. Let's review where to find each of these communication tools, then we'll compare and contrast them. Notes are found inside of step two of your task list when you are working on your questionnaire and your document request list. You'll see notes across the top or on your questionnaire page. When you add a note, you will add a title and content for the note. You can leave as many notes as needed. As you saw, these notes are part of the organizer process where you complete your questionnaire and document request list and as such, they actually become part of your organizer. You might use them to let us know what happened during the year or ask us a question that does not need an immediate response. This is very similar to when you would leave us a post-it note in your organizer or on a document. Messages on the other hand are two-way conversations. You can find them on your home page in the messages panel or at the top right anywhere inside of the application. They can be used at any time. When you open the panel, you will see all of your messages. Messages can be sent and received by you or your professional team, so we also call them two-way messages. To send a message, add a subject and content and click send. Your assigned professional will receive an immediate notification a message has arrived and we can answer you at our earliest convenience. So let's summarize. Both notes and messages are built inside the application and both methods are secure ways to communicate with your professional team. When we say secure, that means that one would need to log into the collaboration hub in order to read the notes rather than receiving it via email. And although we did not get into it during this short lesson, both types of communication methods can be printed for your records. So should you leave a note or send us a message? Let's review notes first. For starters, notes are only available when your task list is open, or in other words, when you're working on your organizer. Notes are also a one-way communication from you to us. Your professional team will only read them when they begin to work on your tax return. You can use them to let us know about any information that might relate to your tax return, or anything that may come up while you're gathering your tax information. On the other hand, messages are available at all times. When you send us a message, we will receive a notification and we can reply to your message in real time. When we post messages to you, we expect you to reply in real time as well. You would probably use a message when it requires a reply or has some sense of urgency. So, what communication method should you really use? The quickest way to figure it out is to ask yourself, do I need an immediate response? If no, an organizer note is probably the way to go. If yes, you want to consider using messages since we'll get them in real time and can reply to you fast. Hopefully you have a better understanding between these two communication methods. If you need a bit more detail on how to use the functionality of these two options, Find the related video in the question mark in the bottom right corner of your collaboration hub.